Families in the town and country neighborhood in Sand Springs are getting some answers as they figure out what's next when it comes to rebuilding their homes. News on 6's Amy Slanchek has details on what resources are available for the people there. Here along 145th West Avenue, this is sort of a one stop shop for folks with flooding damage. These resources will be here all week and longer if needed. FEMA, the Salvation Army, and about 10 other volunteer groups are all on standby ready to help. There's a whole hive of activity going on out here, and, and progress is being made. But down the road at Betty and Doyle Wilson's home. When we lay down at night, we have each other. You know, and that's what counts. It's quiet as they look at their life in their front yard and think about how many times they've been through this. Twice. The couple rebuilt after the 1986 flood and got flood insurance. They plan to rebuild again. If we can, if possible. And we just have to leave it in the Lord's hands and let him figure out what's best for us. As others think about what's next, Chief Deputy County Commissioner John Fothergill says he's getting questions from homeowners about government buyout programs. I heard the FEMA process is two years on the buyout if it's if it's quick and four years if it's not. While people are rebuilding, they will be allowed to live in an RV and the county is waiving all permit fees for flood victims, which could help save hundreds of dollars. That lets people like Betty focus Focus on other things. I'm kind of thrilled that I get to get new new furniture. That's the that's the lady in me. I want new furniture. Like making their house feel like home once again. There is still a lot of cleanup work left to do in this neighborhood. If you would like to volunteer, you can come out this weekend with rubber boots and work gloves. You can get a tetanus shot at the county health department. In Sand Springs, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.